Next into the den are three hungry bears, accompanied by entrepreneurs Matt Hunt and Jacqueline Barleycorn. <laughs> Right, bears, we're ready. We're ready. We can do this. We can yeah. do this. Their business is fueled by their strong working relationship. We love what we do. We've got. We absolutely, completely yeah. believe in the product. Okay, guys, Can need I... a bear hug, bear everyone. Hug. Bear hug. Awesome. I think we, we've just both got a great zest for life, yeah. and, and I think that that's... as well. Yeah, and so it we're comes really in. both focused on the same goals. But yeah. along that journey, we're going to have fun. Yeah. Now, if they say no, you know what to do. Okay, get right. them. let's go get them. I think I heard somebody say, "Let's go get them." As they remember, we breathe fire. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, that's quite a little. <laughs> 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 Hello, dragons. My name is Matt. And this is my business partner, Jacqueline. And we are here today to ask you for an investment of £50,000 in return for 10% of the Great British Porridge Company. Like a lot of people, I do try to eat really healthily. But I do find that when time's short, that's when I make those bad food choices. So loving the idea of an instant porridge, I was a bit disappointed to find all the ones in the shops were either really bland and boring or they were full of refined sugar. So I decided to make my own. I very quickly outgrew my kitchen because in the first month I was applying to Selfridges and also Harvey Nichols. So I then managed to convince Matt to help me grow this amazing brand. I researched the market and I found that there was a real gap for a premium quality instant porridge which has no added sugar and that's dairy free and has taste. We have partnered up with eight national distributors. We have repeat orders coming in from the likes of Whole Foods, Phoenix, Partridges, and next month we will be launching in Sainsbury's. Dragons, would you like to try our porridge? Yes, please. Yeah. Yeah. Matt Hunt and Jacqueline Barleycorn are looking for a dragon. At your trouble, you showed me your bare bottom. I saw that. Who can bear to part with £50,000. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye, bears. Thank you. For a 10% stake in their porridge business. Wonderful. I hope you didn't have too much breakfast already. <laughs> I had didn't. porridge. You've got the <laughs> Sarah Davies is the first to dish out some questions to the food entrepreneurs. I'll be really honest, I wrote you off before you walked through the lift door. Because I looked at that table and I thought, this is going to be a bit dull. And then when you said to me that you made it with just water, I thought, oh. It's going to taste awful. And I've done this complete 180. I think the product is great. But if it is possible to make a porridge made with water that tastes this nice with flavours, yes. yeah. why are the big porridge brands not doing it? I'm guessing these bigger companies, it's just purely about the bottom line. For us, it's about the taste. So we're going to try and win this game by having the right taste, having the right product. So the product itself... Yes. Um, packaging's lovely. Thank you. Great British Porridge Company. Yeah. Great, you Great know, name. lovely. Gluten-free, is it organic? It's not organic. It's all 100% natural. It is gluten-free, it's vegan, it's got no added sugar. But your sugar's still quite high on this. Where's that coming from? We yes. add dates yeah. to it. We started with cane sugar and it just didn't taste right. So um, dates are a very good substitute. It just gives it a little bit of sweetness. OK. Are you manufacturing the product? Yes, I am, yes. We're a partnership, so my wife and I are 50% and Jacqueline's 50%. Um, we're a co-packer to Jacqueline because we own another brand as well. And what products do you do? Um, we do protein balls. What size is your business? We will turn over five million this year. The Dragons are clearly impressed by Matt's proven track record in the food industry. Now, Tej Lelvani wants to know more about the numbers in this cereal business. For one bag, how much would I pay? Usually sort of 3 99 to 4 99 Your selling to the retailer is how much? Our wholesale price is um, £2.25. What are your next year's projections? Well, next year we're being conservative. We this believe it will we be will. over a million. And what's the gross margin on that? We're working on 40%. And talking about the big supermarkets you're going to roll out to, yes. have you discussed the promos? Yeah, yeah. We've got all promotions in place, all the mechanics. What's your net margin? 
likely to be because if you're getting 40% at the moment, yes. presumably you're not projecting that through your period of promos. Um, no, it would probably drop down to around about 20%. So what actual effect does that have on your margin? That's all of it. No, it's not all of it. It's, it's all... nearly... It's... It, yeah, it's, it's break-even plus some money. Going through to the year end, what are you forecasting? We're still saying 40%. 40%? And... Well, you won't get 40%, will you? What are you going to make gross margin? It will be less because of the promotion. Well, then tell me what it's going to be. Still comes in at over a £1.5 million turnover with a profit of around about 300000 Initially you said £1 million, now you're saying £1.5 million in sales and £300,000. Is it £300,000 gross profit? If we do a million, then we are predicting to do 500,000 gross profit. But that's 50%, that's impossible. If it was all at promotion, it would be down to like the 10% mark. No, no, no. I'd cut you a bit more slack if you weren't actually in a business doing this. It's a really simple question. If you turn over the million pound that you said, what is your gross profit? I think our gross profit will be more like 100,000. The porridge producers reluctantly reveal that their projected margins aren't quite as healthy as they first appeared. And having previously invested in a cereal brand in the den, Peter Jones knows the challenges of this industry all too well. Deborah and I were involved with Spoon Cereals. Yes. Do you know that? We yes, we do, yes. Lovely, yeah. lovely product. Yeah. yeah. But really, really difficult. Right. You've got such a long way to go when you're sitting here saying, well, actually, we're going to do a million. Because you could go into Sainsbury's and this could literally die very quickly. This could not sell and you're not going to be seen again in that store. Your margins are going to be absolutely hammered in the first year. I would be shocked if you make any money at all. I think you've got a real challenge here. But I think that challenge could be overcome by having somebody that could really help you drive the business forward. And I'm that person. So I'm going to make you an offer. OK, wonderful. I love the product. It is the best I've tasted. Thank you, Peter. And I actually like the packaging, the positioning. I think you two working as a team yes. is absolutely superb. But I want to join forces with you as a partner. Right, OK. So I'm going to offer you all of the money for a third of the business. Serial investor Peter Jones wants in, asking for 33% of the business. Next up, an unusually quiet Tuka Suleiman. It sounds like you've yeah. got all the contacts. Now I'm trying to work out, what do you want from a dragon? There's certain parts in business that I think you could open doors we just want you to be part of it because then instead of hitting the two, four, six million like we say we're going to hit, we will double that. OK, I'm going to make you an offer. I'll give you all of the money for 22%. Thank you, Tuka. Thank you, Tuka. Thank That's you, Tuka. wonderful. Guys. I didn't want to get into the food sector because it is such tiny margins and such high risk. Yeah. But I love the product. And I really love you too. I would offer you all of the money and I would do it for a 25% stake in the business. OK. OK. You've got something. So, yes, I'm going to make you an offer and I'm going to offer you all of the money. And I want 30% of the business. Deborah Meaden becomes the fourth dragon to tender a deal. Will health supremo Tej Lalvani make it a full house? The issue that you have with margins is an issue. And the key is how you negotiate with them. And if you have someone like me behind your back, those conversations are going to be very different. So, I'll offer you all the money for 27% of the business. Who's going to talk, talk to the to wall? The wall. <laughs> talk to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> OK. The porridge pair are in a rare position, 
with offers from all five dragons, who've each agreed to pay the full £50,000. I, I definitely like Sarah. Yeah. I like too, as well. I know. But they all want more than the 10% Matt and Jacqueline wanted to give away, ranging from Peter Jones's 33% down to Tuka Suleiman's 22 When we first walked in, we had a maximum that we would give away of the company. Our maximum was 20% to be split between two dragons. I would go for 10%, okay. £25,000. I would like to be a part of this journey. Yes, wonderful. I would, I would be agreeable to those terms. Okay, wonderful. 25,000 for 10%. Thank you, Sarah. It's too much for me to come to where you want me to, but I will make you a different offer. Okay. But it would be contingent on another dragon who I went down the previous journey with. And I would drop to 12.5%. Because we've been through it, I can honestly say I learnt so much from that one experience that any new dragon going into this just wouldn't be aware of. So I would definitely be very happy to partner with Deborah again. Half the money for 12.5%. Peter Jones and Deborah Meaden team up, asking for a 25% stake in the business. 5% more than Sarah Davies and Tuka Suleiman's joint offer. Can a solo Tej Lalvani come up with a more appetising proposal? The dilemma I have is that I want enough equity to be able to really support you guys. Is equity the main issue or would you be happy with more money for uh, yeah, definitely yeah. up for yeah, it's up for negotiation. Option. Yeah, we could always yeah. I'll offer you sixty thousand pounds for twenty-two percent. We would like to take yes. you up on that. Excellent. Well, thank you to everybody. Thank you. Great choice. It's going to be great life. Excellent. Thank you so excited. much. Excited to be with you guys. Thank thank you. After a dragon bun fight over their business, Jacqueline and Matt walk away from the den with great British dragon, Tej Lalvani. It's amazing, wasn't it? Five offers. Holy oh. moly. You <laughs> did really well. I mean, to get offers of, of all five of them was... You just, I just wanted to take all of them, you know? <laughs> Even I don't mind saying it was a decent offer. It was, yeah. Yep. I'm excited yeah. and yeah. Uh, yep. great guys to work with. And if you want any tips from Deborah and I, don't Absolutely. phone us. <laughs> it's a surreal, it's an out-of-body experience. Yeah.